Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the third video in Python projects series. And in this series, we are developing a restaurant management system. So, so far we have implemented two options. One, showing the menu in the restaurant and the second option is ordering the items. In the previous class, uh, we have added a new feature like uh, allowing users to order multiple items here. So you can see the output here. Okay. So now uh, we will uh, implement this update menu feature. Okay. So after that, maybe in the next class, we will do add review. And maybe in the final uh, video, what we will try to do is we will uh, try to allow user to add multiple items with uh, multiple quantities like uh, two chicken biryanis, like uh, three mutton biryanis, something like that. Okay, so we will do that in the last video. Okay, so let's implement uh, the third option now, which is update menu. Okay, so close this here and go to the VS code. And here it is now, as of now, it is a blank. Okay, so what do we do for updating the menu? Okay, so for updating the menu or for, I mean, updating menu in the sense, uh, we will be adding a new menu, uh, new item to the menu. Okay, so instead of update menu, we will make like uh, add item. Okay, that will be correct uh, wording, I guess. Okay, so here what we have to do. So first we will have to take input from the user, right? Like name price and if it is veg or non -veg. so why we are taking this veg or non -veg? so i thought of implementing that feature as well let's say something like user wanted to search uh, items in the menu so maybe we can have a filter based on the veg and non -veg. okay so i thought of implementing that option as well but yes we will see that in the future uh videos but uh, for now let's concentrate on this option now like adding a new item so for adding a new item basically we need uh, three inputs from the user one name price okay name uh, price and uh, whether it is a veg or non veg okay so these are the three uh, inputs that we require okay so what i will do is uh, i will just take uh, input here like uh, enter then uh, enter item name okay and the price so price is obviously let's say integer uh, uh, value okay so enter the price and finally whether it is a veg or non veg okay so what i will do is uh, uh, i will do it in a uh, like this okay so input veg or non veg okay let's keep it the all small letters okay so user has to enter one of these keywords okay now after this one uh what we will do is we will append this new item to the items list that we have okay so items dot append uh what we have to append we have to append first of all id we have to add okay so we did not take id as input from the user right but still uh, we have total number of items in our dictionary so we can just increment uh, that to one then we will get a next id of the items like this one something like this okay now let's say name we have name here and the price yeah we have the price as well as here so instead of uh, i will uh, name it as item price that will be better i guess okay but anyhow item price and after this we have to give the value for whether it is a veg or non veg okay so i will write a condition here true if okay if item type okay we will uh we will uh change the variable name like uh instead of veg or non veg i will say item type that will be a proper a variable name for this one so if item type is equal to okay which then it is true okay else 
it is a non veg so which means false which false means it's non veg and finally we have a reviews uh, list okay reviews sorry and in sherry we will have a empty okay so let me see one more time what is the yeah review yeah i have to have reviews here okay yeah so done so this way we have appended that but we did not update the menu.json file okay so we will have to update the file as well because when we come back and run the program we should have the same details in our menu right so for that what we i will do is let's do something like this i will modify data object like items is equal to the items that we have i mean the updated list and now we will have to open the menu.json file as we have done in the first uh, step right so similarly we will have to do it here as well okay so this time menu dot uh, json okay but this time we will have to open the file in the right mode because we are going to add something to this file right so that's why i will name it as write and f as it is and now we can use the same json uh, library for dumping the new dictionary that we have that's all so this way it will update the file that we have so finally let's uh, print message like uh, item is added okay so that's pretty much for this option let's run this program and then see the output okay so currently we have nine items right so let's see if we can uh, add the tenth item so run this one okay let me uh, clear everything and then uh, do it again because it will be good okay now let's add the item for adding the item option three okay so it is asking for a item name now okay so which item you want to add let's add soft drinks okay just i'm giving some random name here and what is the price assume that it's a 30 rupees and it's a veg or non veg obviously it is which i am giving okay i am assuming that it's a veg boom so we got a message saying that item is added let's verify that whether that item is actually added or not so how can you verify that when you choose option 1 that is a show menu then we have to have our 10th item as well let's see that see the item has been added to the menu and yeah that's how guys i mean that's about uh, this one and one more thing let's uh, uh, verify that i mean if that uh, soft drink is added to the menu.json file as well okay so go to the file okay so file has been see the last item you can see here right it has been added okay cool okay so this is how okay this is how we can add a new item to the restaurant menu okay i hope uh, you like this video and if you have any questions uh, regarding this uh, particular implementation please mention the comment section below in the next video we will implement uh, this uh, adding the review or you can say customers can rate the item they have tried okay so that we can do and along with that uh, we will uh, try to show i mean when we are showing the menu right when we are showing the items in the menu we will show the existing rating as well of that uh, particular item okay so we'll do that in the next class so please uh, do not forget to subscribe and like and share this video i will meet you in the next video till then take care